I think the code of contact is helpful to all practitioners whether again they're from large firms or from small firms, simply because it's not just the obvious that we need to think about. If we're talking about good advice for a client, that's obvious. But what about if we see a behaviour from a colleague or from our firm where there's actually another angle that needs to be considered? The code of conduct is a good place to go to to help prompt your thought and maybe encourage you to speak up or involve others in a conversation about what's most appropriate.